Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live Special number 139, recorded September 12th, 2012. The iPhone 5. Twit specials are brought to you by Slingbox. Only Slingbox lets you watch your home TV anywhere you go. Available at Amazon, Best Buy, or find out more at slingbox.com slash twit. Welcome once again to live coverage of yet another Apple event. I don't know how they do it, but they've got another one. Uh, And we are going to cover it live using the uh, blogs, uh, the uh, live blogs and so forth. Leo Laporte here. Joining me at our table today, we've got Sarah Lane uh, from uh, i5 for the iPhone, our iPhone uh, show. So she's got a lot, I'm sure, to say. Also iPad today and tech news today. Hi, Sarah. And the social hour. And the social hour. I do a lot of stuff here. Hi, Leo. How are you? (laughs) She wants us to all know she does a lot of shows on this network. Tom Merritt is also here from TNT, our news director, and uh, with him, Ayaz Akhtar. And frame rate. I as actor. No how. <laughs> no how. I do that with Leo. Uh, he, he's, he's only on every episode. And we're setting up a, uh, a Google Plus Hangout with, as we have done before. Uh, I see Lamar Wilson's already in there. Um, hey, Lamar. And uh, we will get those going. But we're going to do something a little bit different uh, this time. We also, because Apple never streams its uh, events, we are going to uh, bring you uh, a reenactment of the event with the help of Brian Hogg, who is the puppet master behind Walt Moss Puppet. And uh, many other shows. He's, he did a puppet podcast for a long time. So he will be reenacting uh, the event as well. There we go. Tim Cook is already on stage. What is Tim saying right now? Thank you for coming this morning. We got some really cool stuff for you to talk about. We're very excited. It's an extraordinary, exciting time at Apple. And there you go. See, this will be just like being there. This is so much better than us repeating it. Why should we have to repeat from it? From Tim Cook. Yeah. He's talking about the Barcelona store right now. I guess that we start, start talking about retail. Pretty, pretty pictures. Uh, right now, uh, joining us, uh, Doriano Paisano Carta. Doriano, uh, where, where are you from? We're having some technical difficulties. I don't see your laptop at the moment. Ah, so hold on, Doriano. And then as soon as I get my laptop, uh, you were seeing it, though, were you uh, not? Not yet. Haven't yet. You have never seen it? Not yet. Apple's now showing a video of the... Barcelona opening. Perhaps we have attempted too much today. <laughs> Hubris. Hubris has overcome us all. Talking about staircases and stone. Yeah, you're na- I mean, the first part of these announcements are always about numbers, about, you know, here's some, some things we want to tell you. Here's we a great force launch you to, yeah. from two months ago. Look at all the happy people. One the thing, new retail store. One thing we already, uh, you know, know, and I, it's probably, you probably saw this, is uh, that a search... Uh, of uh, the Apple Store for iPhone Dash Five revealed press releases. You couldn't get to them, but the t- titles of a press release for iPhone Five, iPhone Five LTE, mm-hmm. and iPod new iPod Nanos and iPod Touches. So, I think it's pretty clear we're gonna, we know what we're going to see at the yeah, event. None of that's extremely today. shocking, but at least we know it's not going to be the new iPhone or some exactly. weird name. It's going to be iPhone Five. Uh, Even though it's not. It's the sixth iPhone, right? Yeah, but it, it I is mean, the sixth iPhone. Right. iPhone 4S was the, but this is and this is why it's of great interest. It's the tick of the TikTok. iPhone 4S was a minor upgrade to the iPhone 4. iPhone 4 was right. a major upgrade. So in theory, this should be a major upgrade. And it's iOS six on iPhone five. Right. Yeah. All right. That won't confuse anybody. <laughs> <Just> to be <laughs> clear, <laughs> you know. So let's uh, take a look at our. Can you see us? Uh, see my computer now? You cannot. All right. Let me do one more thing. And we'll... One more thing. Get it? Just one more thing. They're still talking about the Barcelona store, by the way. Well, let's uh, let's go to our reenactment and see what's going on on stage. Uh, this video is, uh, that we're showing about the Barcelona launch is going to show the energy and enthusiasm of the people in Barcelona for the opening of the store. We're really excited. Two years made this awesome store. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Cook. Puppet Tim Cook. <laughs> You can see the excitement is really building in the in the, in the hall. Tim Cook says uh, they're opening their uh, store in their thirteenth country on Friday. He said it's absolutely amazing. I'm impressed. Ah, uh, we're gonna talk Mac. What? 
Why would we do that? There's a new the store is down post. It changes languages as you actually just if you leave it uh, up because of the 380 stores in yeah, 12 countries. Yeah, so there you go. There, that's the <laughs> news along. Yeah, we're starting with Mac Talk. That's interesting because uh, we see is... we've got a MacBook Pro and an iMac on the screen. It's recapping about it's... Mountain Lion launch. Mm-hmm. 1080i is what you want, right? You should be seeing it now. The iMac hasn't been refreshed in a very long time. People have been waiting for that. So joining us in our uh, Google Plus Hangout so far, we've got Hillel Fuld, who is You're in Israel still, Hillel, right? we got no audio. I don't think video either. Uh, Seven million mountain lion upgrades have been sold. Yeah, they're just pumping up OS X right now, talking about how... Mountain Lion went well. Everybody's installing it. Got re good reviews. Says the MacBook Pro with Retina is the best Mac they ever made. Well, that's great. That means every other MacBook is not very good. MacBook Air, don't get it. Don't get the MacBook. Number one in U.S. notebooks in market share in the last three months? Is that possible? 27% of the market captured overall. Apple notebooks, number one. What is that? You're now getting my audio. <laughs> <laughs> it's an audio test. I would guess that that is now the audio. <clears throat> Fifteen percent year over year growth versus two percent for the PC. Of course, when you have a small base, it's easier to grow big numbers, but still good news. And he's pointing out that they've been outpacing PC industry growth for six years. Moving on to the iPad. It's interesting that they're giving all these Mac numbers. Does that mean we're going to get some kind of Mac announcement? Or is he just touting how awesome Apple is? Let's check in with uh, puppet Tim Cook. The last six years, the Mac has significantly outgrown the PC. The iPad is driving the post-PC revolution at a breathtaking pace that we couldn't be happier with. It's interesting. He's got a little bit of a Canadian accent, Tim Cook does. I didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Just the slightest. <laughs> I think there's a good chance they're going to revamp that iMac to that retina display that people have been rumored for a while. And the MacBook Pro 13-inch is supposed to get a bump. Uh, wouldn't be too surprising if they just try to cram all that in today. Because then the iPhone will be the one more thing. 17 million iPads sold from April to June. That's their last quarter. Chad, can you see me uh, and he can you hear me? We sold more iPads than any PC manufacturer sold their entire PC line. Take that, PCs. Ooh, Dem's fighting words. He says, yes, we are in a post-PC world. Brings total to 84 million units. This is a product category that didn't exist two and a half years ago. It kind of did. It just wasn't, wasn't the same. <laughs> He's talking about all the Android tablets that have launched now. Of course, not by name. Just saying lots of hundreds of tablets to compete with us. Have there been hundreds? Uh, I guess. If you include all the Chinese knockoffs. Last year, the iPad had 62% of worldwide tablet market share. Showing up a graph from April through June 2011. It's interesting to note that uh, today uh, Google announced a billion Android activations, but a very small percentage of those tablets, less than 1%. In fact, I think it was one quarter of 1%. So tablets, even uh, with all the uh, Android success, have not been a big part of Android. I, you know, I wonder how much of the Nexus 7 is in those numbers. And that number is going to be going up. Mm -hmm. One of the bigger issues with Android tablets was the lack of tablet-specific apps. They were, mm -hmm. That was one of the issues with that. I mean, they could run the Android apps all, all you want, but Apple's been very good at getting developers on board with iPad as, as a tablet and having that unique interface. Google's been playing catch-up, as will Microsoft be playing catch-up. But uh, So I think competition is coming. Let's put it that way. Uh, iPad I, is 91% of all tablet web traffic, even with 68% of the market. Tim says, I don't know what the other, other, other tablets are doing. They must be in warehouses or store shelves let's or maybe find in out. people's let's, bottom let's, drawers. Let's go to the, uh, the puppet reenactment and see what Tim Cook's saying about the competing tablets. 
Clueless are doing. I think they're gathering dust. Maybe they're being uh, returned. Clueless grandmothers buying them for hip kids who don't want them. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is he actually saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's looking askance right now. Sarah would like it to be known she has nothing to do with the puppet reenactment. <laughs> I I didn't say anything. <laughs> Lamar, can we hear Lamar now? I see Lamar. Let's see if we can hear Lamar Wilson. Speak to me, Lamar. You're muted. Uh, Leo, how you doing? I'm well, uh, Lamar. Uh, Hello, my I'm going to unmute myself. There we go. Now you can hear me. All right. So one of these days I'll figure out how Google Hangouts work. They keep changing the interface. So, Lamar, you're out here in the, in the uh, West Coast now. Yes, sir. I, I moved a little over a month ago and uh, to the L.A. area, and I love it. iPhone wow. user or uh, Android user? He's got his iPhone right there. Why am I not? What's going on with the audio? It's, Can you hear me now? Yeah, Google's muting me for some reason. No, yeah, someone keeps muting me. Tell them to stop it. <laughs> no, I, I believe there's a troll in your in your circles there that's muting people in the hangout. Is it uh, Jacob? No idea. Uh, check I'm the chat PC. room. He says I'm a PC. <laughs> so going through the enterprise uses for the iPad, talking about the App Store, uh, how many how many apps they have in the App Store because they they have more apps than any other system. Two hundred fifty thousand have been tailored specifically for the iPad. And iOS apps are 90% of all apps downloaded every month. Steve Garfield is also uh, with us in our Google uh, Plus Hangout, v videographer, video blogger. Hi, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You're not muted, are you? Maybe you are. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you are. Uh, no? I don't understand how Google works anymore. They changed it again. So he's trying to, to emphasize the quality of the app store when he says 90% of apps that are in the store are downloaded every month. I see. The average customer uses over 100 apps. I found that to be true. I was actually checking my iPod Touch. It turns out I have 109 apps. Do you use Sarah them? And I we're talking about that I, on I've iPad I have just under today. 400 yeah. on my latest iPad. She, she's got uh, the largest number I've ever heard of. Uh, somebody has beat me, or, or so they claim. They wrote me on Twitter. 400 million iOS devices sold through June 2012. That number was accompanied by a big sort of... Flashy sparkle. I don't even probably. know what you would call it. They sort of looked like hey. clouds or dry ice. Let's uh, check in because Tim is making a big announcement right now to the reenactment we go. Today we're taking it to the next level, making a huge leap. We have some very exciting news to tell you about the iPhone. And to, uh, and to do it, I believe we're going to switch now to puppet Phil Schiller. Uh, puppet Phil Schiller's indisposed. <laughs> so in his place... Puppet Tim Cook. <laughs> we'll do his puppet Phil Schiller imitation. Good morning. It's really neat to stand here and see all the Apple logos print, pointing back at me on stage. It's quite a few on our table as well. Don't be fooled by Tom. All right. It, you would expect at one of these events, and I think this is the case, that Apple's pretty careful to put to load the first few rows with Apple employees. They always have been in the past. Uh, so that that kind of sets the tone, and then journalists start in row three. Uh, sort of in the middle, there's a row of cameras. They're not live streaming cameras, so they're not allowed to do that, but the news crews will often ferry uh, tapes or memory cards, I guess, these days out to uh, waiting vans during the event. So sometimes you'll see footage before the event ends. I know CNN has done that in the past. Phil Schiller bringing us up to date on the iPhone legacy in 2007, Time called it the phone that's changed phones forever. Called the and iPhone iPhone 5. 5. That's the name. It's, it's rising official. from the floor of the stage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, that's a little cheesy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like the original iMac was done the same way. Oh, my yeah. God. No, it didn't rise from the floor. It was under it was a hood. under a hood. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Actually, it was in a carry. Does it come with a stick, you think? Is it's the rotating. Oh, please. It's rotating. It is tall. Actually, they're roasting it right now. It's a rotisserie iPhone. <laughs> Tim five. Stevens at a gadget says, it's a little hard to see. <laughs> well, it's kind of <laughs> small on there. Well, it's it's Schiller thing. calls it's, it an absolute jewel. It's the most it beautiful the product. It's the most beautiful product we've ever made, bar none. You know, when a marketing guy says something like that, it kind of lacks credibility, to be honest with you. Metal back. So this, I think we're not going to see anything surprising here. I don't think so. That's really the question at this point is, 
Is that a fifth row of icons? Yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five icons. Hooray! Apparently, Phil only has uh, 17 apps. On his first page. <laughs> well, this is That's the default. These are all stuff. the default apps, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they kept newsstand? Dag nabbit. Entirely of glass and aluminum. Yeah, check quickly. Let's look at those uh, those icons. Nothing new in there, is there? Messages. It looks, it looks just messages, like those calendar, leaked photos. Gallery, camera, videos. Where's Maps? That's Maps, Where's and it looks like book? the old Google Maps logo. It is not a oh, updated is. logo. But Sarah, you've used iOS 6. I think that was the way it was, wasn't it? it yeah, was the Maps slightly logo modified. Doesn't, doesn't There's no YouTube app. Weather. 7.6 millimeters thick. What is the one? 18% thinner than previous. Far right in the second row. What is that? That's a new icon. I believe that was Passbook. Passbook. Uh, oh, good. Now there's a nice close-up. 18% thinner than iPhone Passbook. 4S. Right on the front page there. It's Notes, the reminders, clocks, stocks, newsstand, iTunes, App Store, and Game Center. So far, no surprises. It looks just like everything we've seen. Mm -hmm. And it's still 73 degrees and sunny in Cupertino. <laughs> Always, permanently. 112 the grams, if you care about things like that. 7.6 millimeters, 18% thinner. So thinner is a big deal. Yeah, by having a larger screen, they could stretch out the components a little bit. And I think the rumor is the in-cell technology of the uh, of the touchscreen allows it to be even thinner than the original iPad, uh, the last iPhone. 326 PPI on a retina screen. That's the same as before, is it not? 1136 by 640. But four inches on the diagonal. How is that going to work for apps? Boy, I tell you, the rumor mill got this one exactly right. So far, uh, exactly what the... Consensus, mm -hmm. rumor consensus was. We've got to see what's nine. on the inside now. Big question marks at this point, NFC and LTE, two acronyms that uh, Apple doesn't usually talk about. I think LTE is, is a for sure. We do. I think so because of the press release uh, leak. The design center for this phone is apparently your hand. Let's check in with uh, puppet Phil Scheller and see what he says. <laughs> Played by Tim Cook. Uh why do we make it this size? It's because of your hand. It should fit there. That's how we designed the iPhone 5. That's a nice thumb. <laughs> Thank you, Puppet Phil. I mean, it's similar to that Droid Razor M that was released, uh, was that this week? Last week. Uh, there's very thin bezels on the sides. And the fact is that Apple has been, been very uh, aware that you want to be able to use your iPhone with one hand. You don't have to be using two hands to do anything. And if you can get your thumb all the way across those four inches, especially with that thin bezel... Uh, it seems like they're sticking to their uh, old size. It's also true 16.9 for the first time, and that's important. They have October 1st highlighted in the calendar that they're showing on screen. I don't know if that means anything. That's the mini the, event. The it's rumor, apparently the rumor, Karen Taylor's birthday. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Karen. The rumor, of course, is September 21st for availability. Um, you see a full five-day work week in the, in the calendar now on the larger screen. The Apple Store has been closed since early morning, which means there will be something that we can at least pre-order, if mm. not buy. The iWork Suite, iMovie, and GarageBand uh, uh, have been updated uh, in the App Store. To take Old apps of the will display. run letterboxed if they're not updated for the new screen. Right. That so makes how sense. are new apps going to run on old phones? They can... Squoze them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or they can them. downsize. They just don't yeah. need to up-res. Yeah, the different aspect ratios is going to make it interesting to be a developer. I think I think one of the iOS 6 uh, SDK things was about being able to have the icons move relative to spaces. It wasn't necessarily that like you were locking them down like in, in maps. You were putting them mm -hmm. in coordinates. So I think that might be able to wait, the way Apple can take care of their developers. Apple's uh, stock price <laughs> dropping two or three points, according to Mike Mills in our chat room. But that's to be expected. You always buy on the rumors, sell on the uh, news. Interesting, the Apple Store is uh, showing its closed notice. This is the first time they've ever done this in multiple languages. Pronto estaremos. So we've got Italian, we've got Spanish, we've Volvemos got Portuguese, we've got Swedish. We are snart baka. <laughs> Thank you, <Je> Harry. <laughs> Puppet Brian. <laughs> Brian Puppet uh, Phil Schiller should be reading those. Chinese. But I think that, that that's a mark of how much of an international product this is now. Um, much more so than when the first iPhones came out. And tellingly, much more so than anything Amazon is doing. And I wouldn't be surprised if Apple would like to underscore that. 
What's the what's uh, going? Let's check in with our uh, reenactment to see what's going on right now. All, all of your software works just like before. No scaling issues or anything. Much more room to work and play with. With 700,000 apps in the App Store, what happens to them? They just fit. They just work. They just work. Stop your worrying. Still skeuomorphic. It looks like there's an actual turntable with <laughs> on one of the apps with a stylus, an arm. That's an app that wasn't updated. They're showing the letterboxing on it. Uh, they're also showing off new apps. So that- it does letterbox uh, older apps. But the question is what the new apps look like on the older phones. On the old, yeah, going the other way. They certainly are not going to show you. Of course, you get closer to 16.9 here, so widescreen video. That's nice. Yes. 44% better color saturation. They say full sRGB rendering. That's interesting. It has a full color space. That's actually a big deal. We're going to see a lot of apps that take advantage of that new screen right away because the SDK has been out for three months. Mm -hmm. They integrated touch into the display to make it thinner, and they say that'll give you less glare and sunlight, too. Yeah, that's funny. That's exactly what Jeff Bezos said. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. No air gap means no fewer reflections. Everybody's doing it. You realize that, of course, the, they're buying these panels. They're not making them. These aren't Apple panels. They're buying Ultra them. Ultra fast wireless. What the hell is that? We've mean? moved on to. <laughs> Lamo? That's LTE. It's got to be an LTE. 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 It's got to be. Okay, so they're showing the old speeds up through HSPA. GPRS, uh, Edge, and LTE? EBDO, HSPA, Plus. And yes. DC, HSPA, DC, DCH. And LTE. SDPA. Now, will that LTE be just the U.S. bands, or will it be worldwide? And they show off the 100 megabits per second. I don't know who's getting 100 megabits per second on LTE. Remember, Apple not. Apple was able to put LTE on its iPads, its new iPads, mm-hmm. but only in the U.S. Let's well, uh, check in with the reenactment and see how it... Puppet Tim Cook is reenacting Puppet Phil Schiller. Now it's really complicated. Ultra-fast wireless technology. You can imagine the challenge our team faced. Thinner, smaller, but we've added HSPA+, DC, HSDPA, and yes, even LTE. It's all in a single chip, single radio, (laughs) dynamic antenna. Sarah, once again, has registered her disapproval. Automatically switches antenna connections, (laughs) which it did in the forest. It's an I experiment. That to you. I killed the hangout, by the way, for, for those of you wondering. It was just one too many things. Yeah, and poor Chad's going, thank you. Single radio chip. Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon all support Dynamic the Dynamic antenna. T-Mobile's left crying again. Rogers, Telus, Bell, Fido, and Virgin in Canada. Good, Fido. That's what I have my SIM card for. <laughs> Asia Fido Softbank. is a Canadian carrier along with, as you said, Rogers, Telus. And Softbank, Bell. KDDI, SKT, KT. He's t- saying a bunch more. Telstra, Optus, Virgin Mobile. So it is global LTE. KDDI, which is, uh, Softbank, mm-hmm. KT, great. SK Telecom, Smart Tone. In Europe, it'll be on DT and EE. Deutsche Telegram and everything everywhere. I don't know if there's, a, uh, if there's a single chip set that does all that or if they're going to have to have different He builds. said single chip? Single chip. Single yeah, chip? he said. That's amazing. That is pretty impressive, I have to say. Look at that map. I wonder if that's a Qualcomm. Uh, that's uh, a lot of bands to support or... in one chip. Well, that's Tim Cook's thing, right? He's a supply chain guy. If he can get everything on one chip, that's going to be a lot cheaper to build. Wait that? a minute. Ultra fast wireless doesn't stop at LTE. 802.11n. <laughs> oh, but they have two, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz this time. Uh, oh, okay. Two, okay, I guess. Oh, that's cool. It's, <laughs> they're going to do the uh, Amazon. Let's wait for MIMO, and, and it'll be yeah, complete. Right? Feature complete. It really is a, a statement of how crowded the 2.4 gigahertz band is. Everybody's doing five now because it's just so saturated. I'm gonna have to pull out my dual router again. But then five gigahertz it. will be just as saturated, you know. So it's not it's not it's not going to be a net gain. A6 processor, very Ooh. nice. That always makes me think of the sneaker company. You say A6, I'm like oh yeah, I wear A6. <laughs> Yes. Sneak, so this is the first Pro. A6 Sneaker we've net. seen. Right. Yes. The last the uh, new iPad was a was a 5x, right? I've, yes. Yeah. Compared to the A5, it's two times faster. Double CPU and double graphics. We got an iPhone 5 with an A6 processor and iOS 6. Now, unfortunately, you have to take this uh, uh, as written because uh, these are ARM chips, but Apple custom fabs. So, mm-hmm. um, or at least it's a custom. Uh, 
22% smaller. I don't know that. I guess that makes the whole package smaller. Reduces battery uh, usage yep. and uh, heat. So that's important. Showing us a few examples of how uh, it would be faster. If you're saving an image, 1.7 times faster. Loading the music app. Almost two times faster. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting way to put that because when people throw out specs, you're like, well, what, how does that actually yeah. work? Oh, it's going to launch apps Real faster. World stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And one thing I'll give Apple credit for, their estimates of things are generally close to the actuality. Yeah, battery life, launching times, all that stuff. Unless you're watching the television commercials. I want that uh, that uh, sequence is shortened phone. That well, looks that's, phenomenal. That's not, a, that's not a spec claim, I know. but yeah, yeah. That phone seems phenomenal. Oh, great. Now we're... Yeah. Do you have a Rob Murray, executive producer of EA Studios <laughs> puppet? <laughs> uh, I, Brian, I think we I think we only have a Tim Cook. Who, <laughs> we were rushing. There was a, a... The factory, the puppet factory was doing a rush order on Schiller and Forstall. I guess that didn't happen. And I'm sure that we don't have Rob Murray. <laughs> Boy, we're only... No. Well, Actually, we do. They all look so. exactly like Tim Cook, oddly it's, enough. It's odd, yeah. Uh, I guess we're 25 <laughs> minutes in. Is it already time for developers to come on stage and... Looks that way. No NFC mention, by the way. And uh, I think that they would have probably mentioned that. It had. They don't say NFC, but they would say something like, now payments integrated into our uh, our pass, what do they call it? Passbook, pass yeah. Pass book. Of course, they haven't talked about, uh, are we going to get any fancy, like, remember the greeting card app we got with iPhone 4S? Oh, gosh, yes. They spent no time on any greeting card apps. Today. We haven't seen anything like that. that was, was we that are the, seeing Real Racing 3. I think this yeah. is to show off the here. processor, right? right? They're saying this is exactly. what it can do. Claiming full so it may, may not be done. Uh, yeah. May, all right. Lots of shaders and reflections. Mm, it's a nice looking car. That's a game. It's not a photo. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's Porsche GT3 quality. racing on Laguna Seca. For the first time, rear view mirrors. That's the quote. <laughs> oh, because you can. Okay, you can process all of that. Yeah, that's insane. I want to hear Tim Cook. That's say amazing. That. Let's hear Puppet Kim, Tim Cook's t- take on this. The most amazing thing, for the first time, the iPhone 5 supports rear view mirrors. It was even more exciting when he said it. It I really think. was. Yeah. It's the puppet distortion field. <laughs> <laughs> the puppet is clearly polarizing, by the way. He's Max Trollbot like. <laughs> there are those who like it, and then there are those who do not. <laughs> Two-player race? It just gives people something to do while they're waiting for something interesting. What's time-shifted multiplayer? Time-shifted multiplayer. Oh, like he says, play? I can challenge Vince one day, and he can race me the next. So you ra- do example. your race, and then he oh, races against your ghost? anything more boring. That is just not interesting. Well, but you, you, when you're doing this, when you're the second person, you would see the other car, so that would be okay. But the first person is just racing against themselves. <laughs> I, I can't imagine a feature of less interest, but I'm, I'm not a... Well, it's a little bit, I think, of that back like and racing. forth. You know, it's Leo's turn. Let's see how yeah. fast he goes. Yeah, let's take and then I'll try to beat that. Exciting arcade action and turn it into a turn-based... <laughs> he can, he can, you can knock the other car offline and slow him down. In real time or in the next day? I don't know. Real Racing 3 for the powerful new iPhone coming later this year. All right. So there's a, de- also a debate in the chat room. Some people think an awesome feature for games. Others say, huh? So uh, I'm not a gamer, so maybe this you is... might get people to use that game center more because you're like, okay, are my friends online right now? Uh, I can't play against them right now. Take turns. And uh, back with uh, uh, Ro- uh, uh, Phil Schiller, who's going to talk now about, apparently about batteries. They, they glow green. Apparently. Uh, By the way, Andrew Major over at Spotify says their whole New York office is listening to us. Hey, you guys. Hello, Spotify. Hello, Spotify. Good to have you along. How's your new Spotify app going? Can you confirm the rumor about Nordic? Spotify for the web. (laughs) Will you have apps on your Spotify for Mm -hmm. the web? Mm -hmm. Nordic, what's that? Uh, The the rumor today was that uh, Spotify would have TV shows in Nordic countries in partnership with HBO Uh, Nordic. Very. Phil Schiller back on stage now. I think it's got better battery life than the 4S. I hope so. <laughs> All right, let's look. Talk time, eight hours. That's 3G. Wow. Browsing, eight hours. LTE browsing, eight hours. Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours. I find these all meaningless, don't you? Well, I don't because think it's meaningless if you're using really your varies. phone heavily throughout well, the day. Because you don't use just one thing at a time. Right. That, you I, know, I, yeah. I just think that this doesn't tell you much. 
Mm. You need. I want to know how long is it? How long between charges? Everybody's usage is different, though, so it's right. hard. It depends to, on what you're doing. Right. Yeah. So I don't you think know, it's a hard thing to have a video have a for you know a long flight, for example. Let's check in with uh, Puppet uh, Phil about our the new camera. Next, we want to talk to you about the camera. If you know anything about camera design, it's vertical height. Making something thinner is the worst thing you can possibly do. That make made no sense at all. I'm <laughs> I'm just reading my lines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the if going you, thinner compromises the optics, so they had a challenge. Yeah, I think they're they're, they're setting up distract. why this is going to be an improvement on the camera. Vertical height. 25% smaller camera, 8 megapixel, backside illuminated, hybrid uh, infrared filter. This is very similar to the spec for the 4S. In fact, as far as I could tell, it's indistinguishable from the spec for the 4S. They just had to make the camera thinner. Small, yeah. Yeah. So, so we were able to make it thinner yeah. without an Dynamic low light mode is new. Precision lens alignment and sapphire crystal. <laughs> That's good. And they, did, they were precise about it. Because if they just kind of like, ah, kind of fit yeah, that Just way. one more reason for somebody to swipe my Well, it's phone. one of those things where it was probably a big crystal. engineering challenge to mm -hmm. make it fit in here. And they're really proud of it. But all of us ingrateful consumers are like, so? Looks the same specs. It is exactly the same spec as far as I can tell. Now, he does say that there's something new. Sapphire lens crystal cover. They have optical image stabilization like the... Just uh, said that. No OIS. That, that's the, that's a, that's a, sounds like a Nokia exclusive. Of course, we don't know if it works. <laughs> yeah. It's possible. It may or may not work. 25% smaller what? Which is 25% smaller? The lens. Oh. Hmm. Sapphire is renowned for being hard and crystal clear. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> That's the quote. <laughs> or is he talking about William Sapphire? Uh, smart filter, better low light performance, faster photo capture... All that stuff. Yeah, they're going to... That's interesting. They are going to build in... Uh, are they going to build in filters? Do they have filters in the uh, camera app in iOS 6? Or does he mean a filter in the camera lens? What, for, lo for better low-light performance? Well, it says smart filter. Yeah, well, new image processor in A6 is what you say. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to just make the pictures better out of the gate. 40% faster image capture. That's mm -hmm. good news. That's always an issue with... Uh, of these and I think something Android was starting to beat them on although it was pretty close the iPhone 4 is pretty <laughs> fast here are some pictures directly from the camera and he points out they are unretouched not fake there was nobody in a van <laughs> Tim Stevens writes we're looking at the photos now. The ocean looks bluer in the iPhone 5. Kids look happier. And the world is a more beautiful place. Now, I see a quote. That's I wonder quote. if that's... I is think, that Phil saying that? Yeah, I think Phil's saying that. He's a funny guy. The world is a happier place. Let's take a look at some of those pictures. Well, they look nice. I mean, when they're... Well, they actually have some... Taken with a camera in the audience and then put them on the web and then... Yeah, compressed. that's pretty much the We're same really... exact image that you're going to see. On yeah, your phone. yeah. This yeah. is interesting. This is something Samsung's been pushing hard with its Galaxy S3 Ooh, shared photo streams. Ah, built-in panorama, also an Android feature. We're not really seeing a lot of low light photos yet. He claimed better low light performance, but you're right. All yeah. those photos were in bright light. There's actually some depth of field nice in the see. picture of the, of the flower. It's, it's I do see some depth of field. Yeah, yeah. Some well, nice they, they, images. they do a decent macro if you get up close mm -hmm. and you. And you make sure you zoom in on your subject. 28 megapixel image. For the panorama. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. They have a beautiful panorama of a guy with a very steady hand who put that together. I still the feel like bridge. panoramas, though, are you're going to use that once in a while, not on a regular as basis. As long as you're taking a landscape or something. Because if right. you're at a bar, you're like, hey, why do you have like three faces? Because I'm doing a panorama. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to have. I just, I don't think it's an everyday feature. A lot of this is just Android catch-up right now. It's like, okay. No, Captain Murphy, I'm saying the specs are identical to the iPhone 4S, so I don't know whether it's a better camera or not. But if it is, it's, it's you know, going to be based on its software more than anything else. I'm seeing another, another blog. There might be a lens cap. 
lens cover for the actual iPhone. What? That's what I thought was the sapphire. Mm. Oh, that's what it is? I the it was crystal a, sapphire okay. lens cap. I think that's what they said. Complaining about the amount of scratches that happens to their lenses. And so, because every photo you, you take looks like it's from the set of Days of Our Lives. This is good news. Let's ch check in with uh, our reenactment. <laughs> is that what we want? Because I think there's some good, there's some good news about uh, multiple chads in the camera. It's even able to determine a nonlinear path if you're not able to hold it exactly steady. So it's pretty complicated, but it gets rid of duplicate chads in the pictures. <laughs> That's very good. We have a panorama that one of our viewers took yesterday, and there were I had three chads in the panorama. It when was you, good. It was, I call it my three chads. There were no hanging chads. <laughs> They're rolling out video specs now. 1080 PhD. Improved video stabilization, face detection. FaceTime over cellular. Take photos while you're recording a video. Take photos while you're recording a video. Oh, that's good. That's, that's that, a nice That picture. could come in handy, actually. So they say 1080p video for recording, but FaceTime HD camera is only 720p. That's on the front, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, okay. FaceTime over cellular is not news. Right. <clears throat> yeah, the face Three on. microphones. Three. Trace. They had two before. They had a noise-canceling microphone. Maybe they're doing stereo. Why and there were all those rumors that they had gotten rid of We've the sound-canceling company. That on the using. front... On the bottom front ah. and on the back. So it'll use the microphone that's appropriate for the camera. You voice use. recognition right. and noise that's, cancellation. I've seen that other phones as well. Yeah. That's really good for voice cancellation. Are there two different microphones? Is that what he's yeah. saying? Yeah. So you'll have a front and back microphone depending on which camera you're using. And then they'll have and a, a bottom third, uh, for voice cancelling. Yeah, and the bump on the FaceTime camera, by the way, it used to be VGA. So if you were... Oh, right. that's good. 720p yeah. is a so significant So if you're conscious about the way you look on those, that's those a significant FaceTime calls, yeah. you're going to look better. So make sure you yeah. get very pretty for it. The speaker, Tim Stevens writes, the speaker has a five-magnet transducer. That's three more magnets in your transducer. <laughs> <laughs> Improved speaker design. So you can hear people on it? Wideband audio? Wide band audio. I don't your know piece now includes okay. noise canceling on your own audio out. That's interesting. Noise Wider canceling spectrum microphone. Oh, for okay. audio. I see the EQ thing he's got up there now. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So more in the mid range. Noise canceling earpiece is interesting. Yeah, the yeah, audio quality is, out of iPods in general have been made fun of by many people. So if this is a, an improvement of the audio quality coming out of an iPhone, remember one of the win. one of the rumors was that the earbuds would be now called ear pods and would have a pod shape. Here comes our connector news. Nine pins, anyone? I say nine pins. Mm. I'm going to say more pins. Well, that's that's over a under pin on pins. right there. <laughs> Eighty <laughs> pins. <laughs> Forget this thirty pin. You can hang from it. Back in 2003, <laughs> we had the thirty pin connector. I did not mention new earphones, so I have a feeling that uh, that rumor was false. Well. Oh, yeah, we're getting a new connector. He's talking about how old the iPod connector is. But wouldn't more pins so be better? So many of the things we used to do over the wire, we now do wirelessly, <laughs> says Phil. We don't need all those pins anymore. No. Bluetooth, nope. Wi-Fi, AirPlay, what is that? Syncing and cloud. Mm-hmm. That's no connector needed. <laughs> We've cool. gotten rid of the connector. <laughs> Everything's wired, wireless. <laughs> lightning, is the, lightning is actually the name of the new there connector. There it is, and it's exactly as the rumor. One, two, three, four, no. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, the ninth is a ground, so there are eight, there should be eight uh, pins there, and a ninth is the ground. I was faking the count. No, you were counting well though. You <laughs> counted fast. <laughs> So they have Thunderbolt and Lightning. Eight signal design system. They have Thunderbolt and Lightning. Very, very frightening. It is called Lightning. And that, again, the, the rumor, That's a I think one. 9 to 5 Mac had the, uh, that. Yep. Yeah. How many um, queen quotes are we going to see in the next hour on Twitter? I say a million. <laughs> Thunderbolt I think it will be very frightening. Very <laughs> is it reversible? You can plug it in either way. It is reversible. That's oh, nice. great. That's fun. Thank you. Yeah. That's a small change, but like. Huge. Huge. That's one reason why I'm glad they didn't use the micro USB connector, which is very difficult to get in properly oriented. All digital, eight signal design, so. adaptive interface, approved durability, 80% smaller, reversible, easy to use, and it fits on a Zeppelin. So I, what he's showing there is that Bowers and Wilkins and uh, JBL, others companies that make these docks, will in fact have nine pin connector docks. Got old docks. There's the adapter. A bunch of accessories. There's the adapter. So. The question is, is that bundled or is that... Uh, I doubt it. 
Here's he said an adapter. Accessi- accessories. accessories. Yeah. yeah. We're creating and these look how, neat accessories. Look how, look how great that looks when you've got the adapter <laughs> plugged in <laughs> to the iPhone to your 30-pin cable. It just works. It's just, just as long works. as the iPhone. And unfortunately... Well, uh, wouldn't you prefer that than saying, oh, well, now I have with... all these accessories that don't work at sure. all? Sure, sure. It's not going to work Absolutely. with docks, of course, because uh, you'll just fall right off. So you might as well just throw out that Renew clock radio that you have I'd, No, just that, throw I that know. Right no, no, out. no. It'll... Just, it'll um... It just lay there. Well, because I use my iPad. Right. So... The, I'd be curious to see how quickly they update the iPads. It'd I think be, yeah. And you only need one nice. adapter, right? You just keep it with the phone. And you plug it right. into all different devices. That's what I do right. with the, the uh, MagSafe adapter for the Retina. Moving on to iOS 6. And, you, and you'll never lose that. I don't, that's no right? problem. No. Never lose that. Not me. So here's iOS 6 running on the iPhone 5. It's got four stalls up. Do we have a puppet's got four stalls? No. No. <laughs> He kind of looks like Tim Cook. He's got the black shirt they usually. They all look like Tim Cook. We have the faces of Guy Forstall, but not the whole puppet. Oh, he's wearing stripes. You know, I appreciate your uh, your laboring late into the night, Brian Hogg, on this. And I'm, I'm just, uh, ignore the haters because <laughs> she's wrong. <It's laughs> wow. How's that bus feel going over you, sir? I'm just being honest. No, no, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the feedback. I love the idea. Sometimes execution. Brian Hogg is, is the not, master yeah. of puppets. So back to the whole covers thing. Forced all breaking away from tradition. With He's a striped stripey, shirt. stripey shirt. Not wearing oh. his black shirt. Stripey shirt. They're talking about their Maps app. Uh, I haven't seen anything significantly different from WWDC, but they have search built in. So I'm wondering who's powering that search. Come on, Bing. It's been interesting to watch Google. Uh, We've also built a search engine in so you can look at local points of interest. Yeah. Who's powering it's it? It's interesting to watch Google uh, uh, open the kimono to their back end on their maps processing this past week and mm-hmm. kind of let people know there's a lot more than just what you see on the screen. And the the tricky thing is that search and turn-by-turn directions. And if you, it's hard to compile a giant database. Obviously, Apple will be going to Telenav. It takes a lot of humans. And the other places that uh, probably Google also goes to. I doubt Google has an exclusive. I'm sure Google does not have an exclusive. Somebody knows with the iOS 6 icon that the uh, for the maps, apparently the car is driving the wrong way on the, on the road. So apparently the icon does try to kill you. <laughs> Fortunately, you're not using the icon to right. navigate, so I it was think a, we're a very right. picky uh, post a long Let, time ago. Let's check in with Scott Forstall in our reenactment to see what he's saying right now. As we take you around turns, we use a cinematic camera angle to fly you around. It's pretty great. That's that's scary, actually. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm driving, I have to look at that. Uh, and and good news, it works in landscape and portrait. That, I don't know how that's a feature. The Apple Apple makes those things by not having them for a long time, so you're so relieved when you. I, get I just don't know how that's a feature, but all right. We've, We've also, also got, got great, great satellite, satellite imagery, imagery, and that was a big question mark because, uh-huh. of course, uh, the satellite imagery Google uh, buys that from um, federal government. Um, they fly planes around. Apple's doing the same. There's that 3D image. Uh, in fact, that's right down where Moscone is. In the Apple planes. Your Buena. They're at Yerba Buena, not Moscone, right? Right, Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. Mm-hmm. Well, because Intel's in, in Moscone right now. Right. Yeah, yes. it's, they're right, right, all right. in the same street. It's right yeah. next door. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's basically just the same. same. I think it's all the Yerba Buena state. Center, and then Moscone's like part of that. and Samovar T. Samovar T. The V-Bar. The MoMA. Target's right there now, Matreon. so you can go get some stuff. Here's some good news. You can take two fingers, and you can change the camera angle. I was a little worried where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's maps. And okay. that's maps. So yeah. what they're really going for is they're trying to assert feature parity with the old maps app, mm-hmm. uh, plus turn by turn directions. Turn by turn is is awesome. It's just maps is one of those things that I don't care what it looks like. I just need to use it regularly. And the good news is there's an many third party apps out there. And, True. Uh, so you really, if Apple's isn't as good yet. Uh, not the end of the world. Notification Center can now tap to tweet. Or post to Facebook. So they're not saying they I have I don't widgets. understand that. From Notification Center. Yeah, that means you, you know, makes it so much easier to tweet. 
It's effectively a widget in the notification center. Oh, right, right, right. Like, like, like so on if, I, OS if I'm in notifications, I see something I want to respond to, I guess. Tap. Okay. Respond. All right. <laughs> widgets are not saying widgets. I do apologize for saying opening the kimono to the back end. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't really mean it is we, what they did. We all let it go. <laughs> Can't help it if someone wants to interpret it in a way That's, that doesn't apply to big data. It's a business big data a phrase commonly used, yeah. and it does not involve these. Oh, you can now share fingers. Safari tabs from your desktop to your phone. You have a iCloud tabs. Full screen mode. For Is that new, or was that already in there? It seems new. So it's kind of like Chrome. Yeah, that's what hey. I use Chrome for. Exactly. Same here. So. I, there's a full screen mode for what? Is that none of this is new information, is it, Sarah? I think this is all stuff we knew about iOS six. The notification center. I notification think center. I don't remember hearing about the before. Center? All right. Yeah, I I think that sounds familiar because we've talked about it in in OS ten. The VIP feature from Apple's Mountain Lion Mail has been added also to Mail on the iOS. I like that where you can star somebody and there'll be a special inbox for them and. Hmm. Uh, You'll you'll not miss. iCloud tabs messages. is the first I've heard. Also, mm -hmm. we haven't is heard it? about that before. They've had tab syncing though. Yes, Did but they, this that's is a little different. They had bookmark yeah. syncing, and they had. I don't think that you were able to like have from one device to the other. Okay, up to this point, passbook, movie ticket, boarding pass, Starbucks card. Very busy guy. <laughs> Ooh, a Sephora card. Just what look, I need. Look, though, though, you still there's... don't see any credit cards, <laughs> and Delta. that's that's kind of the Everyone. thing. They, Baseball. They've not supported credit cards up to this point. It doesn't look like there no. are any in that shot. Passbook without credit cards isn't a wallet. It's just um, a place to store your loyalty cards, basically. Yeah, which... And tickets. That can take up a bunch of crap in your wallet, so well, that's the old nice. Management, but the old management way for this, I used to do this via Evernote, so it wasn't exactly an yeah. elegant way. Mm -hmm. eh, it's not that different, it. though. I mean, now you got a better, dis more Fandango, secure, more display. That's nice. They're going for the Fandango email. Where is this one? In like Starwood Sorry. Hotels is handy. Uh, I I think the airline stuff really. Appeals well, I just to have me. the numbers and on in on my phone. I don't really need the card itself. I mean, where are they on your phone? Are they in, in, it? in Trip it? This is this is no. It's all useful. It's all nice. Yeah. But yeah. I think until they put credit cards in it, it's not. Uh, but I mean, Apple does it, it. Apple's not content for us to say, "Well, I have those numbers already in Trip it." Right. So Apple's Apple not going to say, well, right. Tom our our already has a solution. They want uh, a better solution. And your ticket shows up on the lock screen. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's an, elegant, yeah. it's an elegant solution. Uh, you know, right now, a lot of I don't think a lot of people do boarding passes on their phone. You know, I certainly mm -hmm. don't see that when I, I go like to, to do it. I like it, but it's so rare. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I rarely see somebody using that. I wonder if it's timed. If it shows up on the lock screen, like if you're near like 10 minutes before it the should event, be geofenced. Yeah, that's the idea. Nice. I think it is. In fact, I remember that feature. I believe it is geofenced. Cool. Hey, Anthony over at NBC News Digital Headquarters at 30 Rock says they're also listening to our Twit live stream. Hey, y'all. Oh, wow. Thanks, NBC. We all got really quiet. You made us nervous. <laughs> well, let's no. just... If it's <laughs> <talking, laughs> quiet, then you know what we should really do is check in with Puppet Tina Fey? Tim Cook oh. and see... Uh, sure. Yeah. What's going on don't, on stage. I'm, like, kind of in a fight with you right now, so don't look at me anymore for the rest of this announcement. <laughs> Until we get into Mac break. <laughs> Tim. The uh, pass book is so great. When uh, Here you have a baseball game. I've already been to that. I'm going to hit that trash button. We'll destroy it, shred it. So satisfying. You'll love it. And speaking of skeuomorphic, he showed this at uh, WWDC. They actually have a physical representation of a shredder <laughs> that comes up on the screen and shreds it. So now you can share photo stream, you can sh share images via photo stream, and you can actually comment on them. As you share them with friends. And 49ers beating the Green Bay Packers 30-22. to 22. Well, yeah, Siri has got updates on how she responds. What are the current NFL standings? Brings back a big table with all the rankings. Launch apps by voice. Tony tells me via Twitter, I've seen and used phone boarding passes a lot in Denver. Yeah. I've used them at SFO on United but that, uh, and Las Vegas, I think. On United. I've seen it and I've used it, but it just doesn't seem like it's more than a, a percentage, one uh, percent. Can you recommend a good movie in theaters, Siri? That is a very subjective question, oh, Scott. Here's what others have found to be the best movies. <laughs> they do have Rotten Tomato integration, so that would make the most sense. But what are the movies? 
Compliance, Robot and Frank, Sleepwalk with Me, and Paranormal. High Rotten Tomato ranked. Those are all High Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. All right. Or the, just a secret message. Comply. Comply with us. <laughs> Compliance is futile. People in Atlanta use mobile boarding passes all the time, says Valerie. Integrated with Open Table, you can I say... I saw the readers, but Delta didn't issue me one. You say, find a sushi restaurant for 4 at 8 o'clock, and Siri will go find that for you, thanks to Open Table. Phone boarding passes get preferred treatment in Toronto at YYZ. Or is YYZ Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. Also a good Rush Jason. song. And it's a Rush song. Yeah. Very well, famous a- Canadian rock and roll band. Yes. Ask your parents. <laughs> I listen to Rush. Do you? Well, I listened to this, yeah. Tom Sawyer. Just this morning. It's yes. a really good song. Yeah, Tom Sawyer's a great song. I think we're going to have a uh, puppet Sarah Lane soon. Would you like me to leave? <laughs> so, I, singing, I, so you have room Tom for the puppet? Sawyer. So you can post to your wall directly. Why I Siri? oughta. Post looking forward to sushi tonight. Who does it? Post to your wall. It has a Facebook integration. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, yeah, so it does have Facebook as well. And that, uh, and Siri. So clearly Apple and Facebook have uh, fully made up. I noticed when Zuckerberg was on stage at Disrupt yesterday, he mentioned iOS uh, heavily. And I, yeah. you know, there's obviously really good timing for Facebook that wasn't just by accident. Mike Wolf on, uh, on Twitter concurs with Siri and says that uh, Robot and Frank is an excellent movie. Mm. It looks great. We've talked about it on Frame Rate, so <laughs> haven't seen it, though. Uh, if, the fact that you can uh, respond to a phone call with a text message it is integrated in the phone app. That's all, that, that was already in there in iOS 6. We knew that. And uh, just let's find out what Apple thinks we're going to think about this. Checking in once again with Puppet Phil. And those are just a few of the great new features in iOS 6. We think you're going to love it. There you go. You heard it here first. That's what they think. Two colors. Two colors to the the iPhone. Two colors. Black Black and white front. And white. Okay, that's one thing I... uh, This is silly. Shocked. Two colors. So... I don't think black's a color. Why is it silly? In fact, black is the absence of color. I'm just saying we're going to offer it in two colors. White is all colors. I'm saying it's silly because... You guys are acting like, ooh, two colors. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Probably over. I, I was reacting to the fact that something actually worth noting came up okay. more than being right. excited about All the right. actual colors. Will you be getting black or will you be getting white? Good question. I, I'm I'm kind of partial to my white iPhone these days. Oh, now this mm-hmm. is interesting. The white I version know. has a raw aluminum back and the black one has a black anodized backing. Ah, so, it's, so you get uh, so a two-tone backs back on, on the white one yeah. if you want it. Hmm. So, no NFC, uh, or if there is, they didn't mention it. No credit card integration into Passbook. I think that's probably the indicator. Uh, No new earbuds, although apparently there are new earbuds because they have noise cancellation, at least in the uh, earbuds. Um, Thinnest and lightest iPhone ever made, the iPhone 5. I don't think we saw an iPod announcement. I don't think we saw anything but exactly what we expected with the iPhone 5. LTE was the only big question mark, and... They confirmed they will have LTE, not just in the U.S., but globally. I think that if there is going to be an iPad mini announcement, they might hold the iPod Touch announcement till that. Mm-hmm. That would make sense to announce those at the same time. That's what time. I thought, too. And 9 to 5 Mac seemed uh, pretty sure that there... I think it was 9 to 5. Or, or they seemed pretty sure that there was going to be an iPad announcement, iPod announcement mm-hmm. today. Uh, and in fact, didn't we not... In fact, wait a minute, because did we not see press releases for new iPod Touches and Nanos yep, on the in search that results. search result? They may have made the pages. They're just not ready to release they're them. Just, they're yeah. just not out. Or maybe there's one more thing. Maybe we'll find that's out. it. Yeah, like refreshing the iPod line after such a I don't think they're going to do one more thing ever again. And now ever Tim again. Cook portraying Johnny Ive. We take changing the iPhone very seriously. We don't want to make just a new phone. We want to make a much better phone. It's beautiful and magical. <laughs> and it just works. <laughs> You can still comfortably use it with one hand. That was Sir Johnny Ive, KBE. Sir. What about yeah. people with really small hands? I'm feeling a little left out. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like this By is- what? By this whole, it's better, uh, it's a better fit in your hand because it's bigger. No, because it's the same width. So your hand, your, your hand doesn't have to go higher. <laughs> it can still stay at the bottom. Your hand will be exactly the same on that phone as it is no, on this phone. No, the phone will be bigger. Vertically. No, taller, but th- yeah, but not horizontally. Oh, you're saying your thumb won't reach the top anymore. Well, yeah. I mean, you... Well, don't put anything up there. 
<laughs> Least important apps on the top. I hate you. Just have an empty row at the top. And I will. Yeah. And we'll make sure that the Sarah Puppet has small. They're showing the uh, the insides with the, the chips. Are they really? Yeah. They never do that. Look at that. That is interesting because that's the kind of thing we wait for iFixit to show. Sure. I've, I, I've never Scooping seen that. Scooping iFixit here. Never seen that in an Apple event. Huh. Is there your battery on the Oh, it's Bob Mansfield. You know, I think Bob said, I'll stay. If you let me show. If you let me show what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll maybe. stick around. But you've got to let me show what's inside. That I've never seen that before. That's uh, I think that's great. I think all the teardown people are like, oh, yeah. Kyle Weens is, is a little bit. Uh, There's still off. plenty for them to tear. Up. Yeah, that's true. How do you take it apart? It's really kind of contrary to Apple's uh, uh, thinking, though. They don't like to talk about speeds and feeds. They don't. I mean, they don't. They didn't say the clock rate of the chip. They didn't say the right. amount of RAM. They don't like to do that. For them to show the inside is is unusual. Well, in in this movie uh, or this video that they're showing, they're talking about LTE potentially faster than your Wi-Fi connection. It seems like they're they're pushing people to use the LTE instead of the Wi-Fi, which seems kind of counterintuitive to what their carriers might want mm, them to say. Very interesting. Well, I don't know. The carriers probably like them to use the bandwidth to make some money, doesn't it? Uh, I guess what is with that? the new plans, you're right. That's the They're talking about the lightning connector. Oh, that's the lens right there. Yeah. Okay. I think that was a little bit about, uh, the, showing the insides was a little bit about justifying the new connector. Saying, look how tight it is inside. Mm -hmm. We really had to, we had had to make more some space. space. For everything. Yeah. yeah. Apple's shown off the machining of their products. When they moved to the unibody construction of the of the MacBooks, they're like, look at this block of aluminum. It's going to get changed. I think this is more of the, we fit a lot more into this and showing off that big battery because you're going to need a big battery to handle LTE and a larger display. The Verge notes that the MacBook Retina team is probably sobbing quietly to the quote, I don't think the level of invention has been matched by anything we've ever done. <laughs> Oh dear! They're like, well, we had a, a we had a good couple months on top. Yeah, Apple over. likes to promote internal competition. Of course, so, yeah. I I have to say that the the new connector might be uh, the 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 pain created by the new connector might be somewhat outweighed by the fact that it's reversible. I think that's really good. They did not talk about one of the features that uh, some of the blogs were talking about, which is much improved speed. Uh, one of the selling points we thought of Lightning was that it was going to be much faster. The fact that he didn't mention it makes me think yeah. it's not. They talked about speed with the connection. They talked about speed with the processor, but they did not. They specifically, we didn't see anything. Of course, we didn't hear, but we didn't see anything noted about that. Yeah. And it would have been noted, I think. Yeah. No wireless charging. That was something Nokia announced with their Lumia 920. No micro USB compatibility. That yeah. Would not expect that. No. In the and EU, they probably have an adapter for that. They, will, they, have, they will in the EU. They have, they have to. to. That's yeah. right. And they have in the past, of course. I don't mind that because I think the the worst part of micro USB is that it is not reversible. It's very difficult to get in right. I at least half I've, the time I've messed up a port. Yeah, I messed up. It's easy to mess up in that ports. micro USB. The ports get loose because you jam them. Yeah. In. So I think Apple's probably right not to go with micro USB. The, the disappointment for me with NFC is that with without Apple's uh, full support, it's going to be difficult to make that uh, you know become a, a standard. Still waiting on price and availability. That'll be the last thing they say. I'm sure it'll be exactly what you expect. September 21st? Everywhere. You think we'll get a capacity Pre order today? Because, I mean, if... if oh, if, uh, no. It'll go 816 to 32? Yeah. Or is, it, is there a 64? I haven't bought an iPhone in a long time. Lack of USB 3. That's an interesting point. Perfect Face for Radio makes it in our uh, chat room. They didn't mention USB 3. And only one device right now, the MacBook... Or I guess all the new MacBooks are USB 3. Everything with Ivy Bridge is USB 3. They're showing a lot more shots of machining being done. I, I, th I think that's a new thing that Apple is starting to do is to show, hey, we're, we're good at engineering. <laughs> There's already a Puppet Sarah Lane Twitter account. Uh, you might want to follow that, Sarah. It has very small hands. I will. <laughs> She's going to kick me. <laughs> I really feel it coming. I'll just give you my shin right now. <laughs> oh, good. You're not wearing shoes. That's great. Uh, whoever's doing the Verge live blog just wrote, I'm going to make sweet love to this phone. Oh, dear. That's really... Uh, they got caught oh, in the, dear, uh, oh, the reality dear. distortion well, under two. The, the wow. mention was, man, the hero shots in this video. Make it look extremely nice. If one needs to go quite that far. Okay, this is crazy. No Johnny portraits. Ive is saying cameras actually take images of each case and select the appropriate backplate to fit it so that there is virtually no variance from product to product. What? 
it's a super attention to details with yeah. the pushing. Yeah. Obsessive. You know, there's a, this may be a response to the uh, kind of uh, scathing article written in the Shanghai uh, Post. Was mm-hmm. it Post Today? Yeah. Uh, they assigned a, uh, a reporter to go work at the Foxconn factory. And one of the things he noted was that very few things are automated. It's cheaper to use humans to do things robots would do better. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was assigned to the task of applying dots of oil to the back plate. We have pricing. Okay. 199 for 16 gigs, 299 for 32, 399 for 64 on contract of Completely course. Completely as always, yes. On contract, of course. Yeah. The 3GS is gone. No iPhone available. 4 is now free on contract. 4S, wow. $99. Wow. 4S, 99 for free. That's great. And that's, that's a huge improvement That because the 4 will run uh, iOS 6. So they're f- effectively making sure that all new iPhones sold are iOS 6 devices. I think that's smart. 3GS was free and the 4 was 99 right. previously. So they're just shifting they're it. They're moving it up. A gig yeah. version of the 4 free. Yeah, but still an iPhone 4 for free. That sounds that's, incredible. That's huge. Compared to like mm-hmm. two years ago. hard to live in 8 gig. Pre-orders but. start September 14th. Ah. Oh. So Dang about it. that one. Refresh the store Could and uh, add a still to my calendar. in Swedish. Two days. Why? Two days. Why ships, do they need two days? Ships September twenty first. So right about ship that. Date was Still correct. get it when we thought we would get it. They just wanted a week. I don't understand that. Why is the store down? Oh, because they're just going to put up advertisements. Why is the store down? It's been down all morning. Yeah, it has. Maybe something will be available. Maybe, today. maybe they couldn't get it up. They're like, well, let's. You we'll know, put it'd it up be in interesting if they do nearly uh, uh, slipstream new iPods into the store. Why make an announcement about it? They're just iPods now. <sighs> I mean, they've yes. done that with MacBook Pros, and they've done that with... I can see them doing that. On the 21st, that. U.S., Canada, U.K., France, Holy Germany, cow. Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore. More countries on the 28th. A week later, almost everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, not China. Is the new iOS 6 out available today, or is that going to also be... So, iOS 6 goes back to the 3GS. That's interesting. iOS 6 comes September 19th. Mother of Pearl. <laughs> My iPad will never have Siri, it seems like. I just have to wait so another you, week. You'll be able to run 6 if you have a 4S, 4, 3GS, new iPad, iPad 2, or iPod Touch 4th generation. I can't imagine. Not the original the iPad, not a 3G or lower. Tim Cook back on stage. Tim? Oh, oh let's get the puppet back out of the box. This is the biggest thing to happen to iPhone since the iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. We, we, we. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. It's like one of his teleprompter <laughs> this, guys. Is that tautological? Is that. Uh... They're, they're moving into music now. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we did iTunes. hear iTunes 11 would be available mm-hmm. today. So that was another uh, leak from the um, Apple search. In Apple addition search. to announcing iPhone 5, we want to talk about music. All right. So here's the iPods. This is the reason we created the iPod and iTunes. So, yeah. Hopefully. Here's the iPods well, and iTunes 11. So they did. A, a rewritten iTunes here. 11 would be very much welcomed by, I think, everybody For, at this point. Uh, yeah. Also, also, gonna, is there anyone who's like, minutes. no, 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 I love iTunes. <laughs> Leave it as is. Yeah, let's keep it bloated and don't very difficult what, to use. Don't know that person. It's like, I just sold my iPod Touch, so they better be coming out with a new one. <laughs> you locked in your quote for 30 days, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. Eddie Q is up. Hey, Eddie Q. Strutting. <laughs> he is kind of strutting. <laughs> in the description. At least in the photo. He's feeling good about this announcement. Mm-hmm. Cue it he's up. Just, he's just glad he doesn't have to spend all night writing iTunes 11 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to talk about iTunes. There's a surprise. Number one music store. Where is it? In the world. The world? Not the Galaxy? Mm-mm. Well, we don't know. That's a Samsung thing. It would be the Galaxy. Those aliens 20 billion songs have been purchased music. since iTunes launched nine years ago. It's like we're starting Does a that whole seem new like a low number? How 20 many? billion they've songs? Sold a, uh, they've sold a billion. Oh, 20 billion. Yeah, billion. billion. Oh, with a B. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's quite a large number. Yes. I take it back. I thought you said million, and I thought, that seems low. <laughs> 20 yeah, million that would be low. songs. <laughs> that seems low. Over the past nine years. <laughs> that seems like they should have sold more it's by now. Billion. 450, 35 million iTunes accounts. But that means, if you read between the lines, it's 435 million credit cards mm-hmm. that Apple has. That's a that's a very important number these days for Amazon, for Apple, for Google, uh, 
And uh, with one-click purchasing, huge. Mm -hmm. 63 nations. Their uh, library is up to 26 million. That's that's pretty big. The, the last I heard about... Uh, well, Andrew Major and Spotify could probably tell us. Uh, it was hmm. 19 million was some of the uh, number I heard for some of the uh, streaming services. Yeah, in fact, I think that's exactly right. 19 million was Spotify's latest number. 60% of all downloads come from mobile devices. Not surprising. Christopher uh, Gruber in Vienna uh, is saying uh, no mention of the nano sim. We'd heard the rumor that Apple was going to push the sim even smaller. That's not the kind of thing Apple's going to announce. That might be in there. We just, it's very yeah. likely in there, and they just they're, but they're never going to say. Because it was part of that big standards fight between right. Nokia and Apple, right. so, so it probably is in there. I iOS guess. has gotten a big refresh as far as the store. You've got a big carousel view up top. Uh, not only for music, but for books. This is the iTunes app for iOS? Uh, yes. It looks and, a lot and, like... Uh, and video. It looks like Android. All the stores, really. I'm sorry, but that's very Android-looking to it me. It must be the Apple TV interface, actually. Uh, if you look in the purchase section, it looks just like this. I've been spending too much time on my Galaxy S3. Big, with big graphics. The, the way those icons look on the bottom, with the black background, is that... That's, uh, let me look at the old i2, the old uh, store. Song, uh, when you preview a song, it'll keep playing even if you browse away. That's eh, nice. Facebook integration into the app into the app store so you can like. What please, about ping? Please no one tweet when you're previewing a song. <laughs> just don't do don't that. Don't do that. I'm previewing a song. <laughs> just, just they did don't. not. That's what Elad is, is mentioning right. uh, from Elizabeth down Kentucky, mentioning that they had, did not mention the bottom side headphone jack. Did we see images of where the headphone jack is? No one said anything. That was the rumor is mm -mm. that they were going to put it on the bottom. Oh, I never noticed. You're right. That was they one of my predictions. I'll though. scroll back and uh, you guys take it from here. And the I'll new Mac iOS apps are launching uh, September 19th along with iOS 6. And Mac and PC clients getting updated too. Oh, cool. There's going to be any mention of any the apps. post PC era, not dead. <laughs> There's going to be any, any other applications for Mac if they're going to take out podcasts or take out any other individual apps uh, because not until they fix that podcast app I boy is that a terrible uh... over 200 million people are using itunes in the cloud says apple it's a crowded cloud the new itunes is dramatically simpler Woo. okay is it smaller it so. <laughs> simpler would be good smaller would be much better I basically can't... a big grid now i see no images of the iphone 5 top or bottom much more simplified user interface Wonder how controlled that is. Can you find things? My friend Sean O'Rourke down in L.A. says, there's a high-speed chase. The robbers are throwing money from the car. Angelinos are losing interest in the Apple event. <laughs> well, I don't, <laughs> I don't blame, blame you. In fact, let's uh, change this coverage. Samsung is driving that car, I'll tell you right Our now. Our coverage brought to you day today by, <laughs> in fact, if you had a Slingbox, you could right now fire up your iPad and watch that high-speed chase. Sure could. And uh, and still watch us, which on, would be beautiful. On KTLA, I bet it's KTLA. Probably Michaela Pereira uh, sitting there in the, the anchor robbers. chair talking about the money flying from cars. Go get that money, <laughs> but be safe. Our breaking news coverage brought to you by Slingbox. Slingbox is different. Some companies say their systems let you watch TV everywhere, but only Slingbox lets you watch your home TV system anywhere you go. I'm going to the Niners home opener. I'm going to bring my iPad with my Slingbox so I can watch the instant replays. I can see the other games around the league. You can tr control your DVR. See if you show up on the fan yeah. cam. Hey! <laughs> you don't have to pay extra for special services because you already bought it all in your home system. And the Slingbox just makes it internet accessible. Turn your iPad into a TV or your laptop or your iPhone with Slingbox. Even works with the iPod Touch with Wi-Fi. To get started with Slingbox, visit slingbox.com slash twit. It's available at Best Buy and Amazon. Slingbox. Thank you for your support of our live coverage of the iPhone 5 launch event. We're looking at new iTunes software now, desktop software. Ryan Block says it looks a little like Zune, actually. That's a radical redesign. It looks, yeah, it looks unless, totally different. Okay, there, it looks like there's a sidebar. Because I was kind of curious, did they get rid of the sidebar? A lot of the images did not show that. Yeah. Well, uh, at least you can squeeze it out. Yeah, when you're in album selection, the sidebar goes mm -hmm. away. And when you select an, an album, it actually slides open underneath to show you the tracks. So I it, never play albums out of iTunes, though. That's just me. Probably. I end up doing that with my Beatles things all the time. So that's kind of neat. They have the Beatles on iTunes? <laughs> they do. That was a big announcement a long time ago. Well, that's the question. Do people really use iTunes much anymore? I mean, uh, you don't need to go into iTunes to sync anymore. You don't... Uh, 
Uh, if you, you could buy from your iPhone, it'll automatically go into your desktop. I don't know if people really use the desktop. I use it for playlist management, but I kind of don't want to. I'm just, yeah. it's inertia, you know? Yeah. I just haven't found anything else. There's to, no better to way do to do playlists if that's if that's if that's the thing that you want to do. And they they're making managing playlists easier. You can quickly hop back to your library without closing the playlist, drag and drop tracks back and forth. That's nice. It's definitely a cleaner looking interface. Um, that's funny. That's what I use iTunes for too. As a matter of mm-hmm. fact, come to think of it, yeah. The only time I use it is to put new audiobooks into it and then and then move them in and out of my uh, audiobooks playlist. Oh, see, I ju- I just do Audible's app. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, now that it has Whisper Sync, I'm gonna be using the app. So good! I used it last night. That's fantastic. I finally listened to an audiobook on my iPad for the first time ever. Hallelujah! Because I picked up right where I left off on the phone. Yep. Anyway, that's the Amazon announcement. (laughs) AirPlay gets a little bump. Get back to Apple on the top Chrome. You can see there's an AirPlay button. Instead, right now it's on the bottom right. You gotta really look for it when you're using. It's hard to find, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And now they put it right next to the play pause controls in the volume slider, so you can see where it is. Uh, That makes sense. Yeah. Because it's I like this. The currently output. playing window shows you the upcoming song. Oh, that's nice. These are all handy. These are all nice improvements. You can also change the order of upcoming songs the real question, through what's oh, coming next. Good. The real question is if they're going to rewrite this to be more responsive. Because I think a lot of the negative that's is, what would get me excited. just that it's, a, it's kind of an old and slow and junky program. The rumor was for a long time, and I, I don't, never heard otherwise, that it was mostly written in Apple script. That would explain a lot, actually. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> it takes forever for things to happen. It'd be nice to see a native Coco app. Searching shows results in line. Click on anything brings you to the album or the playlist. Double click on the search results to play. Showing a mini player, new mini player. It's very tiny. That's quite an improvement. This looks like an insight into the next version of OS X, actually. Joe the Brooks has found a way to watch both the breaking news and the live high-speed pursuit from ABC7 in Los Angeles. Very nice. Wonderful. Yeah. It's the dual Wonderful. screen setup. Is just beautiful. just the facts. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's wired in. Joe, just if you'll tweet us any updates from that high-speed chase. We'll it's nice to have to search in that mini player, Yeah, uh, which is a tiny little thing. And the mini player's got re- a nice new redesign. Apple took that out for like one version of iTunes and people freaked out. Uh, actually, it was the plus button changed. So it's a good thing they kept that. People freaked out? Us, on Apple Us Man Ooh. asks, where's Ping? Have they killed it already? We haven't seen a mention of Ping oh, yet. Said anything uh, about come Ping. on, Ping. And Matt Henton in, uh, on Twitter is telling me the iPhone 5 has the headphone jack at the top. According to pictures of it being built, only the connector is at the bottom. That would be very, very. Oh, so in that news. Johnny Ive video, you see it. At you the see top. it being made. Yeah, because I saw it, we could see the dock connector, but you couldn't yeah. tell for sure. Yeah, iCloud tell. integration built right into iTunes. Well, was, what does that mean? Was it not built in? Before? It was. I don't know what that means. I guess. The, well, now we're talking about. I, maybe there's something else to it. I could always, you know, they had a little puffy cloud with a down arrow. You could mm-hmm. click it. Movies with iCloud positions show a little cloud logo. I guess, is that new? Well, hopefully you can stream directly from ah. iTunes. You couldn't do that before. That yeah. was an issue. If you, you bought, if you bought a movie on Apple, or rented a movie on Apple TV, you could only watch it on Apple, Apple TV. TV. They made it nice they if they integrated that. that into iTunes. That's a big reason why I end up going with a lot of Amazon content, because you can stream it to, like from anything. Uh, iTunes, you have to download a lot of the videos to watch him. So Showing the Hulk body slamming Loki. One of the best scenes in the Avengers. Spoiler if you haven't Stevens. watched it. Yeah, yeah, that is actually the only good scene in the entire movie. Oh, it really is too bad that they've shown that because <laughs> now it's really, there's no point in seeing the you movie You want to know how that point happened? That's not true. Really? There's you no think there's point anything in seeing the movie after that? Good? I had a smile on my face that whole I movie. The whole movie you yeah, smiled? I loved it. Oh, I'm glad. Tom thought the whole food thing at the end was so funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't, huh. I didn't think it was that funny. I, I enjoyed it. Which was worse, Puppet, Tim Cook, or the food thing at the end of The Avengers? Stop it. <laughs> Just what does What does Tim Cook uh, think of what? Let's check iTunes. in with uh, Puppet Tim Cook and get his uh, take on the new iTunes. The new iTunes is a fantastic redesign and update to the software that you all love, despite what some bloggers say. Uh, it's great. Check it out. Download it now. Well, when it's available. Which could be now or not. He's not sure. I'm until not sure. <laughs> it says so in his script. He Thank has a you. lot to think about. Brian Hogg, our puppeteer so. of the moment, our reenactment. Thanks to uh, Brian Hogg, who is uh, the man behind Walt Must Puppet, who is making his uh, re emerging uh, at some point, I think, into the puppet sphere. So, yeah, iTunes looks a lot different. 
New interface but for apps and books too. It, it it seems yeah this is all design stuff. I I think well we won't know really until we uh, try it whether it's an improvement or not. I would guess this will be available today, but who knows? Let's check the app store. Mm -hmm. Does iCloud do like the, a whisper sync style thing with movies? Like if you start on your iPad and you start five no. minutes in, because that's what I'm kind of curious. When he went to the Avengers, did, did it start where he left off on the iPad? Because he was saying I was watching this on my iPad. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Showed it on iTunes. Interesting. So if it does sync up, that'd be really cool. But I don't know. If that's October? You'd think they would have made a bigger deal about October. it. October. They did announce that feature. Oh, that is. Okay. Oh, nice. Late October. Late October. Well, I Why? guess they've just started working on it. Like, we just did these mock ups. Well, the iOS 6 uh, redesign of iTunes rolls out on the 19th. 19th. So it's a full month after that. Thank you for that note. It's, it's called weird. Cloud Position. It's not called Whisper Sync, what they're calling it. Cloud Position. Well, yeah, they can't call well, yes, it of course. Whisper Sync. But that's become the term. Moving on Jaws. to iPods. Jaws is on stage for the Greg iPod. Jaws we act. 350 million iPods sold. Another nice shirt. They've really they've really upped the ante on the, uh, on, the on the shirt. They finally got fancy. some wardrobe budget. I believe uh, that looks like a Tommy Bahama, but <laughs> I I could be wrong. You know your shirts. <laughs> That's styling. He's like, double mic'd too. I maybe want they're getting deals from JC Penney since that their retail guy went over. Oh, maybe yeah. Uh, like, Ron oh, yeah. Johnson is provide. You know, if we'll see at the end, wardrobe provided by Ron Johnson and JC Penney, <laughs> then we'll know. Uh, three hundred fifty. Actually, let's uh, check in with the uh, with the puppet Greg Joswiak to see what they're talking about right now. Uh, and we have the most loved family of music players there is, but we're going to make some changes because that's what we do. Yeah, we sold over three hundred fifty million iPad pods. Slowing down, slowing down. But he says we don't do this just for the numbers. Though. Oh. It's part, uh, it's of, part our of our DNA. DNA. Okay. Yeah. We love music. Reinventing the nano. They're showing all the nanos in one slide. Bizarre Six changes. Reinventing the nano again. Well, yeah, because, I mean, yeah. that has been changed hugely. That's the, yeah. the most changed like, iPod. For here's sure. a camera. Here's no camera. Here's a fat yeah. one. Yeah. Here's, here's a shuffle. It's a watch. With a here's one you can swallow. <laughs> I don't forget the first nano killed the mini. So like right. they, they're like, yeah, but our most popular one ever, the mini. We're killing it. iPod so, nano seventh generation. Boy, it really is. Lightning yeah. connector. Larger display. Button. Oh, it's got a button. Uh, hole. Yeah, it's, got a, it's got an Apple logo on it. Uh, I wonder if it's going to run iOS. That's button, real curiosity. Button, hole. hole. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Oh, look at that. It, it looks just like the iPod mini. <laughs> it looks... It brought back the mini. <laughs> Uh, if that thing is a clip. I'm gonna. I'm gonna that, so it's taller. Yes. It's as big as her thumb. I would say 5.4 millimeters. So yeah. So if you don't like the, the, the 30 larger percent iPhone. thinner than the previous nano. So it is the thinnest nano ever. This is really strange. It's. I, is it running it, iOS? I, I feel like they just they're just doing it to mess with you. They're gonna have like a because the the uh, nano right now runs a very stripped down version of iOS. You right. can't add apps. I think. Uh, very curious. What limitations so the, this will have? I two and a half inches on the diagonal. Two and a half inches. So uh, a big the, remember, the current iPhone is three and a half inches. So you're you're actually, it's it's a it's a good portion of the size of the iPhone. Yeah. Multi touch. Wow. You know, people were saying for the longest time the iPhone Nano was coming, and this has a home button. Wow. Just like the, the mm, iPhone and iPod Touch. Home button. Seven this is, colors. This is an interesting product. Red, yellow, blue, green, purple, you black, aluminum. It. No consistency, by the way. They went with circular icons. Tell you this is not the real iOS. That's so you know. That's so you know. Yeah. You can't get Circular real icons. iOS in here. <laughs> yeah. No, nothing else would. <laughs> yeah, right. Would be able to. <laughs> is this a small tip iPhone? Oh wait, to yeah, the fact that you're iPhone. not holding an iPhone. It's fun. So fun is an operative word that tells you it's for people under 21. And of course, that bigger screen is great for experiencing your music even better. What? <laughs> you know the, all the, marks, the visual, I guess, uh, elements of the FM music. tuner with DVR. Oh, nice. So you, you can, can record go back. Your radio. Robertson's going to be upset. Yeah. That's interesting. Two and a half screen. That's basically a free feature. You know, I mean, it's just part of the chipset, I'm sure. Live pause so you can pause or go back and listen to something again on your FM radio. You think the old nano becomes the shuffle? Yeah, that's why you, you pay 99 cents for tuning radio to have that functionality. Do you? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a, a one-time sure. dollar fee, but it's not Photos free. and videos, too. 
but, so, but you can do it on tune in. and inner, inner can, radio. That's yeah, but it's not. Yeah, it's not a DVR. It's a DAR. Good point. Yeah. You yep. said that. You know, it's strange. The, ah, the, pedometer built right in. So uh, this might replace the uh, Nike Plus. Well, it has a fitness app with a Nike logo as one of the icons. Ah, so it's a Nike so it's, it's integrated right in there, yeah. yeah. The, front Although, of the, the front of the device is always white. It's just that there's the body changes. Bluetooth That's functionality. Very That's nice. huge. Now, this is great because mm -hmm. if you have Bluetooth A2DP in your car, uh, this becomes your car's music device. Yeah. Well, for, yeah if, you want to, if you're running and you don't want those wires attached to you, that's what nanos are used for a lot is in, in sports because you and want to be able to... we're seeing a lot of... Sp I just saw sports mm -hmm. headphones that are Bluetooth uh, exactly for that purpose. I would, nice. I would guess that that's... Uh, Has the lightning connector. And it's got connector. the lightning connector. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but the front is always white. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is that a truncated... It looks like the, the old Nano. I think it's the bottom of the Nano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you're not seeing the full Nano. You're not seeing the full height. You're seeing That's the mini version picture. of the Nano. That is a weird me, picture. Man. Yeah. It, uh, it rotates so you can watch movies on it in uh, widescreen. 30 hours of music playback. Wow. Longest battery life of any Nano. iPod Touch coming next. What's the price on this? 150 99 99 Get it under 100 This is huge for They're probably going to do all the prices in one roundup. Let's talk about the iPod Touch. New, new generation Touch. We're Let's kill it. Let's talk about the iPod Touch. You know, the last time they talked about the Touch, they updated the Touch. They really did uh, emphasize gaming. It yeah. is it is the a gaming doing device. The same to thing right the now. funnest yeah. iPod. Yeah, the funnest iPod. Think fun early. <laughs> they say, say the. Is... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the most popular game device in the world. 175,000 game and entertainment apps available for Fifth the iPod generation. Touch. This is not, by the way, an iPad mini. This is. It looks, in fact, the same screen size as the old iPod Touch. I don't think they've shown the new one yet. They're showing the old one. Here we go. Here's the new one. 6.1 millimeters shuffle thin. Retired? Shuffle's not been talked about. Shuffle? It does have... It's a, it's a larger screen. It's got the five rows of icons plus the dock. Oh, it's taller. Yeah, it's the, it's so it's the phone. This is what they did uh, with the original iPod Touch. Was mm -hmm. it basically was the functionality of the phone minus the phone, same screen. Let's see if they go into specs about this. Did they interesting the A5 processor? Uh, but we don't eighty-eight grams, so it's thinner and lighter than the uh, iPhone. In fact, it's the lightest iPod Touch they say we've ever created. That's efficient for the manufacturing process. Just it looks slightly use the same screen. Yeah, they got rid yeah. of the shiny back. That is actually kind of a very nice thing if you use iPods at all. Well, it's an aluminum back just like the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's the headphone just dock. Very headphone thin. Ah, that's on that's the bottom. That's probably what confused There's people. where the confusion there we go. came from. That was the touch that they were doing. It looks like they've, yeah, they've changed the shape of it a bit. It looks a lot more like, well, actually, the rumored iPad mini. Retina the display. Mm. It's had a retina display for a while. Has it? Mm -hmm. okay. Really? Yeah, the fourth generation two years ago. It's when, they, when the iPhone 4 came out. They, they, they did the same thing with mm -hmm. it. All right. It's just the camera on the back has been. It's a crappy horrible. camera. I'd love to see an improved camera. Yeah. On that. I think at least possible. a five megapixel camera. Right. They had that on the iPad. So if you can right. if you can be that silly guy with the iPad taking photos, I think you could be. What's the price? What's the price of including it? At this point, I think they did not mention the camera. They didn't. Apparently, though, when you watch widescreen video, it uses every pixel of the display. <laughs> I I love it when it does that. <laughs> I always use that one A5. Spare. A5. A5. Oh, good, A5. So that's the same processor as the iPad 2. And the 4S. No, the 4. The 4, I think. Yep. The 4S to get the 5X? The, the rumor was that an iPad mini would be basically an iPad 2 uh, with the A5 chip, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a 1040, 1024 by 768 display. I, I think that's credible. In fact, I think what, what you're seeing here is essentially an iPad 2 with an iPhone Mm -hmm. Five Body. screen, and that would then make good space in the uh, market for A five is dual core, so right. And a larger screen makes a lot of sense when you're doing games on this. You have more; you can see more of the screen. Sure. Your thumbs are taking you up want a the lot aspect of the real ratio. Oh, the high speed pursuit is over, according to the chat room. Mm. Fantastic! They caught the guy, and you have to give him the money back if you picked any up off the street. That is not yours. We're going to look at a game called Clumsy Ninja. Why? <laughs> no. Why? No. It's 1124. <clears throat>
Would you like to, uh, maybe we should see if Tim Cook would like to enact or reenact the gameplay of Clumsy Ninja. I'm a ninja. Whoa. Whoa. I just <laughs> fell. I'm clumsy. Whoa. I don't know what the game is. No, that's it. I think you nailed it, Tim. It's not that far off, I don't think. It's, you're clumsy and you're a ninja. Uh, now we have an image. Apparently, the clumsy ninja is fully aware of his environment. Whatever that means. Well, he's looking around. As you tap, you can drag him around, and the ninja looks concerned, says Tim Stevens of Get. That's a tree. Oh, gosh. He's a concern that you can see him. He's a ninja. It shouldn't happen. It's an interactive toy, so it's, it, it's something that doesn't translate well to a live blog, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's going to translate to, <laughs> you a, think? to you know. an iOS. You can tickle the ninja. Uh, That's like a Tamagotchi. He'll run and hide behind a cherry blossom tree. Tickle the ninja is my loudness cover band. <laughs> Tickled and chased. Okay. This is this is a great use of the iPod Touch. I guess they're showing you where they're marketing towards. Like, you're going to want to tickle a ninja when you buy the iPod Touch. So we made sure we had a game at launch. And Gadget says it's like Nintendogs for ninjas. Ninjendogs. Ninjendogs. Yep, ninjas. The game time the character got, folks. is based on real-time simulation of body and muscles. So hmm. I don't know what kind of like animations you'll see under the clothing. I'm not really sure why you want to. So Clumsy Ninja gets smarter. Mm, the more you play it. You can teach Clumsy Ninja to be... More precise? Less clumsy. Does he become yeah. elegant ninja at some point? I don't know. Well, we're, I don't know how I the, feel about the, this. The, the iPod Touch, I think, at this point is, is marketed at, at uh, people who don't have iPhones, in other words, kids. Mm -hmm. And so it would make sense that they wouldn't be showing off a driving game. They'd be showing off uh, a game that, you know, 12-year-olds, 11-year-olds would like. And every 11-year-old wants to take care of a ninja, clearly. Well, that's, um, you know, that's the market for the Tamagotchis. Was, it, was, it, was, it was smaller kids, right? And uh, the, the Nintendogs, it's all about kids. The Verge has a post up, uh, some folks in the chat room pointing out, uh, Apple unveils redesigned white ear pod headphones. I wonder when they did that. Just went up. But I mean, I wonder when Apple yeah. revealed that. Because <laughs> maybe, well, they're at the event, maybe they mentioned it and it didn't make the live blog. <laughs> okay. Maybe they're going to reveal that for uh, the uh, new iPods. $30. Jaws is $30 back for out. the game? No, for the earbuds. Oh. That's what the earbuds are. I thought you were saying it was $30 for the iPod Touch. Right? So, <laughs> 20, yeah. $20, $20, That's what I would call aggressive. Yeah. It's $30 for the earbuds. Okay. Yes, they, for the, ear, for the Battery earpods. life increased. Uh, apparently, big cheers for uh, the Ninten Ninja. Nintenja. Clumsy Ninja. Clumsy Ninja. 40 hours of music on the new iPod Touch. <laughs> new camera. Eight hours of video. Excellent. There you go. You got your wish. How no. good? Oh, use cameras. cameras and a and new camera. How much would you pay? Don't answer because you also get a new camera. <laughs> That's the entire slide we got. <laughs> That's it right there. That's everything we know. <laughs> That's all five the specs megapixel we got. eyesight camera. It's a five, five megapixel. megapixel. All right. Backside and it's illuminated. 2.4 f stop. Five element lens. That same makes a lot sapphire of sense. crystal lens cover. That oh, makes a lot nice. of sense. It's got a flash for the first time. There was no flash on the... Ah, uh, interesting. LED flash, not Adobe flash um, on the iPod Touch. <laughs> yeah, I think they missed a bet here. I think if yeah. they had made a better camera in Put here, this would be it. a point-and-shoot, the choice for point-and-shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 why would you buy a point-and-shoot camera if this had an 8-megapixel camera in it? I mean, we've seen, we're seeing a lot of uh, cameras that come out with Android now, so that if you have right. an interface that lets you play with uh, all kinds of filters... It seems like they missed a bet. I'm sure there are manufacturing reasons why they couldn't put a better camera in there, but what an opportunity. You put a good camera in this, and you just don't sell point-and-shoot cameras ever again. That's it. So it's like the reborn Apple camera and the Newton together, but don't tell anybody. Slightly better than the iPad 3 camera. Because it well, has good. five it's, element lenses. I don't, I'm and, tired of taking pictures of that. And it has the panorama feature. The IR. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. This will, well, it's iOS. must be an iOS 6 feature. So I'd assume this is also September 19th until they say otherwise. There's a. Uh, oh, the iPhoto app is interesting on the, uh, on the iPhone ah, Touch. Ah, iPhoto. 
I love iPhoto actually on uh, iPad. Because of that longer display or wider display, you can have another pane yeah, on the left. It's yeah, a, a little bit good? more like ta- like a tablet interface. Again, you know, maybe I mean the five megapixel camera is pretty good. Mm. I just if they could have killed the market if they just put something really good in there. They got to keep the def- uh, there's keep a weird separate. circular button on the back that they finally acknowledge called the iPod Touch Loop. What it's is that from Chicago? Inductive charging. You can attach a wrist strap to the back uh, for the added security when you're taking pictures or walking around. It's a wrist strap. <laughs> you mock that. I mean, with the HTC phones, they have a kickstand. No, you, they love need, that. you know what? The iPod Touch needs a wrist this strap. This is the thing because you got, you got kids playing with yeah. this. And no, when it needs a wrist strap. Angry at their ninjas for being clumsy, they can let go. Well, and that's exactly, they're doing exactly what you said, which is sort of saying, hey, this is your camera. Right. They just didn't put as good of a camera in as right. maybe they should have. Right. 1080p video. You know, for a kid, five megapixels fine, and it's a it's a good camera. I mean, it's not going to have zoom. It can't be, so they can't really duplicate a lot of the point and shoot features. It's too thin for zoom. Yeah, for FaceTime HD though. camera in the front. Oh, wow, that's also an upgrade. So it get, gets the same cameras as the iPhone five, seven twenty p FaceTime on the front, ten eighty p video. I mean, if you don't like talking on the phone, like this me? is a pretty good. Yeah, this is an attractive device, isn't I agree. It? Yeah, no, I think it's, it's kind of everything that I, I would see, want. Uh, this, now, the question is, what are you going to put in the uh, iPad Mini? Except a bigger screen. What iPad maybe, Mini? Yeah, maybe. Well, you could have a, a better camera on it because it's larger. Can you imagine if there's no iPad Mini after no all iPad this? Mini. One more thing. We'll see you again in October. When we announce the iPad Mini, that'd be that'd be that's actually pretty funny. Wireless to capabilities bumped up as well. AirPlay mirroring in the iPod Touch. 1080p video is interesting. For so the first time, let me have. So this this is why the flip camera was dead. I mean, there's just no reason to buy a standalone video camera. Bluetooth. If you could shoot 1080p video on here, you've got Bluetooth now. Bluetooth four. No data connection for the iPod. Touch. Data to 11 A, B, G, and N. However, so and it's dual, got dual band, band as well. Yeah. I like AirPlay mirroring in this. Siri will be supported on the iPod Touch. Oh, wow. This well, is I, huge. Well, the fourth generation no with iOS. This, this oh. is a big product. The fourth generation iPod Touch, did, once it gets iOS 6, we'll have Siri. So this is... This is an iOS 6 feature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this also lines up with the... With, since it does do mirroring, mm-hmm. people are saying it's, it could be used as a game controller, and effectively it can by using it. So I, as you have one. Yes. Why do you have one? Because I don't need a phone. Okay. So it seems to me the market is for people is for younger people who aren't going to have a phone mm-hmm. until they're old enough till they're you know ninth grade or whatever to get an iPhone. See the the thing is with an iPad you can use it as a, as a hotspot or if you have enough if you're hanging out with enough people they, right. there's usually a hotspot around. So that's Ooh, the weird look at thing. all the colors. This is this is the, this the to me is the straps. preteen this is the preteen device right. Uh, yeah. For a kid that really I wants an know, iPhone, you know, a, a lot of people Maybe. say like I'm not giving my kid a data plan. It's very expensive right. to have these sure. different phones. And the thing is if you look have the colors. You have a shared data plan. It could be. I plan. like the colors. Five yeah. colors: Definitely. aluminum, black, uh, Nokia red, blue, probably. yellow, <laughs> Nokia blue, and red. Lumia, Lumia 920 yellow. Li- 920. Actually, that's a yellow greenish. And yellow Motorola uh, Razor M red. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, we've pretty much got the uh, competitors covered, and and the straps to match. <laughs> so it uses anodized aluminum, kind of like the old iPad, iPod Minis. That's what they mm-hmm, used to use. Mm-hmm. Uh, and actually, the iPod Nanos as well. No pricing. And just for the holidays. Now, this speakers, they're moving on to speakers. What? Oh, great. It looks the like they still, still got a shuffle because uh, the sh- there's the shuffle in the image there. So mm-hmm. they'll still be selling the shuffle. So they just didn't update it. Along with the iPod Nano and the iPod Touch. Those are the three iPod models. I don't see a classic in there, but I bet they don't kill it. Because people, right? It's still, they're still selling Classic's that 160 still gigabyte. 160 gigabyte. That Those are updated. the old iPod. I'm sorry. That is not a new uh, earbud. Well, they're about the, to tell us why it's oh, been Oh, is that updated. the old one? And we're going to say we're going to make New it earbuds. Over yeah. 600 billion sets of these old How things How did the Verge shipped. know? That's what I want to know. Maybe they got samples. Maybe. Maybe they broke somebody, their... Uh, somebody broke an Maybe they broke they their embargo. Broken, uh, well, or, or the embargo time may have not been set very wisely. Actually, really, yeah. yeah. At 217. Doing a great headphone is hard. Ear pods. Ears are challenging. Let's, what? Uh, let's, uh, I, wanna, I want the... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> let's see what uh, Puppet Tim Cook has to say. Apple is one of the biggest providers of speakers in the world. We put them in just about everything we sell, which is pretty obvious. Uh, 
But doing a great headphone is hard. Yours are challenging. Everyone's are different. Johnny Ive has differently sized ears, but you have to make one that's just one size. So that's what we're doing. Ears are challenging. It's the takeaway, I think. They said, we spent three years designing the new headphones, ear pods. That explains oh, why they've on. stunk for so long. They oh, look like on. no earphone you've ever seen before. Oh, come on. 95 Max said that they would be called ear pods. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that's right. We no, have no. heard this before. Every, all of this was leaked. This is nothing new. I mean, I mean, when you go into the store to buy Apple headphones. They're Ear actually going to show a video of this. I cannot oh. believe it. Is it going to be really extreme close-up to people's ears? Yes, yes there, is. there are. And okay. that is not a felicitous ear to show up. It was well-trimmed, though. No ear hair. Didn't you I get, like, happy about just... Giselle Bunchu's ear instead of some old man ear? Bob Mansfield. Well, maybe that's the poor fitting one. And when they move to the one oh, that's that fits, the old yeah. ones. Oh, ears my. are challenging. Whoa. What the hell? What's this happening? That doesn't look good. That's not good. They're scanning that ear. That's a scan. Those are scan lines. Yeah, you get them with age. Scan lines. <laughs> Scanning the eaters, Captain. <laughs> so they're going to have a left and a right ear. They scanned pod. hundreds of ears. Oh, that's interesting. Are they? They're going to be, oh, that's L and R. Yeah, yeah. Ears that's are That's one gross. for each ear. Wow, you have good more thing, than... yeah. You the shape of the ear pod is defined Kinda, yeah. by the geometry of your ear, but they don't create a seal the way other in-ear headphones do. They're waxy and... So theoretically, like you can ears. actually hear. I mean, I, 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 I'm I, like, happy that I have them. <laughs> I collect them. That's <laughs> what Sarah's trying to say. Do you have a necklace? He's a orchard artist. <laughs> she takes them from her victims. Ear pods are designed to direct sound into the ear. Unlike the other ones. They don't create a seal. They just direct they the sound. They aim them. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're walking around, you have those in-ear earbuds. You can't hear what's going on. And a lot of people honk their horns when you're trying to cross the street. And you have no idea. Uh, so that's probably why they're pushing this idea. Like, Port in oh, the wow. back for mid-tones. Port in the stem. There's a lot of information. Uh, almost for every people. Apple event, there's one product, the uh, iCards, mm-hmm. where iPod it's really socks. kind of not iPod socks, where it really is, nobody in the world really thinks this is a big deal, but Apple apparently just really spent a lot of time thinking about it. They and this so is a big deal. Th- yeah, they're like, and they're very invested how, in yeah, it, yeah. more so than probably a normal person would or should be. In all fairness, if they do come out with an ear earphone that doesn't, so it's not as bad. <laughs> that's another way to put it. It's not as bad as the previous generation ones. I mean, that'd be a great improvement. Well, they well, they did this before, right? They did inflict just horrible headphones on people for years. Yeah, well, and they, came, they came out with the uh, well, upgraded They had better head, ones. They, had had upgraded. they looked much like that. Yeah. They had a little rubber tip. But those were bad, too, because then the rubber would fall off, right. and then you'd have to buy replacements. I, I think they were $100, too. They were expensive. Um, Standalone accessory available today. So this is just the replacement for those Stands pro. Alone. So you're going to buy them again. You're not going to get these with your iPod Touch no, or I'm iPhone. I'm fine with my Klipsch S4 eyes. And how much? Standalone. That's annoying. Oh, no. They are going to include it with their products. IPod they will touch, include it with the Touch iPod Nano, Nano and the iPhone 5. Oh, so good. let's review. All right. Oh, wow. It's coming with. iPod Nano, 16 gigs, 149 or 49. No, 149. Wait, it's 49. What? Two gigabyte shuffle, 49. They didn't kill the shuffle. 149 for a nano. For a nano. Mm-hmm. 16 a gigabytes. Pricey. They got to keep Touch that. 200, 250. Boy, they have no room here for an iPad mini. I got to tell you. Uh, iPad mini, 299. Fourth gen iPod Touch stays around. 16 gig is 200. 32 gig is 249. You're watching breaking coverage of Apple's iPhone event 2012 brought to you by our friends at Slingbox. Thanks, Slingbox, for their support. Slingbox.com slash twit to find out more about uh, the device that will turn your iPad and, yes, I bet you, your iPod new generation touch effect, I know, into a television. It would be great for these. Slingbox.com slash twit. Three ninety nine for the – oh, that's the iPhone. Okay. So now we're seeing... Fifth-gen iPod Touch, 32 gig, no. 3, 299, it looks like there's two 64 versions gig, 399. Well, the iPod... Look, it's the newer one and the, the older old one. Touch oh, and, I get it. The, so 299 the for the new Touch, 32 gigs, 399 for a 64 gig new iPod Touch. Available in October for the new Nano There's no new room, touch. I'm telling you. They're going to have to charge... What are they going to charge for an iPad mini? 499 It's going to cost as much as an iPad. Well, what do they charge for the iPad 2 right now? That's probably what they're going to replace. Three ninety nine, probably mm. the three ninety nine point. Oh, that's true. iPad two is going so to be phased out. So why would you out. buy a sixty four? I guess for the memory. A well, it's actually well, it's just be a physical size issue. You're not going to be carrying an iPod Touch if right. the iPad Mini has a data connection. That completely changes everything. That's the question. Well, because these devices, these iPods, do not have right. a data connection. There are red models for these devices. Product red. Yeah. So the uh, the fighting aids in Africa red. 
Tim Cook back on stage. And you know what? Here's some news. The best iPods we've ever done, according to Jones. <laughs> oh, good. Well, second best iPods. Yeah. <laughs> the last ones were better. Why would you? Yeah, what? I mean, that goes without saying, right? You're not going to release a new product that's it, not better than the old product. you got to say. <laughs> what is Tim saying now? Tim Cook, let's check in uh, and find out what's going on on stage in our reenactment. We do love music, and we love this new lineup of iPods. We're so excited that we created an ad, and we'd like to run it for you this morning because that's what we do every time at one of these events. Let's run the ad, except we don't have the ad. Yeah. So imagine, if you will. An advertisement (laughs) about products. It says, iPods dancing, replicating, taking over. Oh, dear. the caption. No, okay. it's very short. I, I have to say, I'm I'm not impressed by the pricing. The Apple is not taking the aggressive pricing stance that uh, we thought they might in response to Google and Amazon. They're going to let Google and Amazon have the low end. I They're think. saying we're Apple. People pay more right. for our laptops. They pay more for our iPods. They pay more for our phones. Jeff Bezos says uh, we want to make money on our stuff when you use it, not mm-hmm. when you buy it. Yep. Apple wants to make money on their stuff when you buy it, when you use it, whenever. <laughs> And then every other opportunity possible. And that's also how they can sell internationally. That's the thing. They're making money on the hardware. Exactly Amazon right. is locked out of so exactly many right. places because they're not making money until you buy their services. In, in fact, that's exactly right. Amazon's selling products to its most pro- prolific users, to the people who buy the most. That's who they want to hit those products. Apple wants to sell a product to anybody who has the money to buy the product. And it's, and it's why Apple is the is the largest company in the world now, the most valuable company in the world. It's strange that Apple's starting to keep around their old models. Like the iPod yeah. Touch is still around. The iPad 2 is still around. Well, that's how they respond to this pricing issue. That's how they get into the low end. They say, well, you can – but I, I think it's not as compelling. Yeah. You can get a free iPhone. It's the two years old iPhone, but you can get it. You can get an old or inexpensive touch, but it's going to be the old mm-hmm. touch. And Tim Cook is emphasizing what sets them apart is the fact that they work together. He's emphasizing we have the we it's have the, the ecosystem. ecosystem. Yeah, yep, and that's true. New iPods, new iTunes, the iPhone five powered by iOS six, two hundred new features in iOS six. Let's see uh, for the final coda, and the last time, you'll be happy to hear, puppet Tim Cook, to wrap this event up. Only Apple could integrate these services and bring them all together. Apple has never been stronger, and that is thanks to the dedication and creativity of our employees throughout the world. They are doing please the, go buy our products. the best work of their lives. Thank you, Puppet Tim Cook. That's Brian Hogg, our puppeteer. And uh, you. You. <laughs> we appreciate your time. And, of course, uh, we look forward to seeing the return of uh, Walt Moss Puppet. Will he be a Bunraku puppet, or will he be a Muppet puppet? No, he'll, he'll be the standard puppet. Uh, he'll be coming back to Foo Moth Fighters. They got the Foo Fighters. Yep, Foo oh Fighters my. coming on. Wow. Musical guest. Oh, that explains it. Let's uh, can can you do a Foo Fighter, uh, Brian? Is there any? I do you have, a, do you have another confession song. to make. Could no, you do Rush? <laughs> Will Walt Moss Pup, uh, Puppet be interviewing Tim Cook Puppet? That would be. Awesome. I, I can make that happen. At that, one point, Moss Puppet interviewed and killed Steve Ballmer, Bun Raku Puppet. That happened, so I can do stuff like that. He's a spitball now. I can't wait to see uh, the uh, the P conference, <laughs> all things puppet. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Brian Hogg. We appreciate yes. it. Yeah, no problem. Thank Take you. care. Uh, so as the Foo Fighters play us out, uh, there it is. There's the full announcement. A new iPhone 5, exactly as the rumor blogs called it, 1136 by 640, one icon row higher, full 16 by 9 screen. They didn't describe as they never do. Uh, the technology on the screen, uh, we don't know if it's IPS, probably is. They did say that the, the the phone is thinner because they were able to bring the screen and this touch sensor together, much like Amazon did. They're basically gluing these down as they do in the iPads. Um, the uh, new connector is true, a nine-pin connector, reversible. Uh, they're calling it Lightning to go with Thunderbolt. Uh, the iPhone will have its earbud on the top, the ear hole on the, the top, as always. But the new iPod Touches will have the uh, headphone connector on the bottom next to that uh, lightning port, which is also on the iPod Touches. Also on the new iPod uh, Nanos, which look a little bit like the old iPod Minis. They're going to have a longer, taller screen. Thin, though. Very mm-hmm. thin. Um, pricing, though, is a, a little bit of a shock. Um, 
I'll have to go back to that slide because there were a lot of prices. The uh, fifth gen iPod Touch, thirty two gig, two ninety nine, sixty four gig, three ninety nine, available the, in October, and the Nano sixteen gig, one hundred forty nine, also available in October. in October. The new iPhone is not uh, available for order right now. iPhone five will be available for order in two days and will be delivering as we had heard on the twenty first. That I think is the only thing that the blogs got wrong. Um, and the headphone and the headphone yeah. placement of the headphone jack. New headphones are available. The new ear pods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we'll come with all the new devices as well as uh, be available for sale. Foo Fighters, that's what they got wrong. And the Foo Fighters, and I think that's pretty much. <laughs> the live vlogs just keep taking pictures of the Foo Fighters. What else are you going to do? Stage. You could you could hum. Yeah. Tim Stevens is quoting the lyrics. It's times like these you learn to live again. The bird says <laughs> they're rocking acoustically. Acoustically. <laughs> so I guess U two is no longer their favorite band. Actually, well, thank of, God it's not John Meyer. There was I mean, a lot of uh, John Mayer. Yeah. Mayer. I don't even the, say his name. Right. Right. Marissa Meyer, well, John because Mayer. Marissa Meyer confuses mm -hmm. you. Mayor Meyer. Mayor Meyer. Not Oscar Meyer. No relation? I don't think so. No. They can't agree on how to pronounce their last name if there is. Um, I think that's it. All right. Anything more to say? You have to wrap up a TNT. Yeah, we got to do a little TNT. You want to stick around for that, right? Yeah, I'm just, I'll tell you what, let's wrap up our coverage. We thank you for joining us for live coverage of the iPhone announcement. Again, uh, not really any surprises. There were new iPods, both iPod Touches and iPod Nanos, new earbuds, and of course the iPhone 5, pretty much as predicted uh, by everybody, uh, all in sundry. We thank you for joining us for our coverage. We will make this a Twit special, and uh, you can download it after the fact. Maybe play it side by side. See our puppet reenactment along with the actual video of Tim Cook. Um, and uh, we thank our friends at uh, Slingbox for making this possible. Slingbox.com slash twit to find out about the great Slingbox player. You attach it to your home theater system and your internet. And suddenly you can watch your TV anywhere you go, even on your iPad. Thank you, Chad Johnson, for running the show. Thank you to Sarah Lane from all those other shows that she is on. Too many to... Name. So many, I know. It's hard to remember them all. I can't even there are just them. so many. <laughs> but mostly i5 for the iPhone, which will now be updated. Yeah. To cover the new i5. I'm excited. Yeah. The Apple always gives us new material. It's Thank nice. you, yep. Apple. And uh, iPad today. We'll talk a little bit about iOS 6, I'm sure, on Thursday. Tomorrow. Uh, thanks to Tom Merritt and I as Actar from TNT. You betcha. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will give it back to uh, TNT. We thank you for joining us for this Twit special.